Hello everybody and welcome back. Today our topic is going to be about the myocardial contractility. Or it can also be called in other words the inotropism. So the inotropism or the myocardial contractility is the intrinsic ability of the cardiac muscle to develop force at a given muscle length. The inotropism is estimated by the ejection fraction. The ejection fraction can be measured by the stroke volume divided by the end diastolic volume, which is about 55 to 60 percent. The end diastolic volume is about 150 to 180 milliliters, and the end systolic volume is about 10 to 20 milliliters. The stroke volume is the volume of blood pumped with each contraction. So every beat forms blood to pump out of the heart. So the volume of the pl blood pumped out is the stroke volume. It is measured by the end diastolic volume subtracted from the end systolic volume, which is about 70 milliliters. For the heart rate, the heart rate is the number of beats per minute for the heart. The cardiac output. The cardiac output is the volume of blood per minute. It can be measured by the stroke volume multiplied by the heart rate. The pulse. The pulse is a rhythmic stretching of arteries by the heart contraction. The myocardial contractility duration differs from the atriums to the ventricles. It functions of the action potential duration for the atriums is about 0.2 seconds, so the duration of the contraction in the atriums is 0.2 seconds and the contraction in the ventricles duration is 0.3 seconds. When the cardiac muscle is stretched, it contracts more forcefully, so the more the muscle is stretched, the more the muscle contracts. This law is called the Frank Starling law of the heart, which is the length tension relation in the cardiac muscle. The optimal sarcomere length and the number of cross bridges and the troponin affinity for the calcium increase the calcium uptake and the release from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. There are inotrope positive factors like the adrenergic agonists by the beta receptors which stimulate the cyclic AMP forming the protein kinase A, which forms phosphorylation. These positive factors are the sympathetic nervous system. They can form an increase in the activation of the L-type calcium channels and the calcium inflow. And they can also form the inhibition of phospholambane and calmodulin, thus increasing the calcium pump activity. So it will release more calcium it can also form the cardiac gangliosides, which form the NAK pump, forming the NAK antiport pump. The extracellular calcium is increased due to these positive factors, and the heart frequency increases, and also the intracellular calcium is increased. And only the extracellular sodium decreases. For the enotrope, negative factors, which are the parasympathetic, they have the L-type calcium channel blockers, so the blockers of the calcium channels, as we discussed in previous videos, the verapamil and the defidipine are examples of calcium channel blockers. They are used in supraventricular arrhythmias and also in the hypertension patients. The inotropic negative factors are stimulated by the parasympathetic stimulation caused by the acetylcholine, on the muscarinic receptor of the acetylcholine because it's on the heart which stimulates the cyclic AMP forming the protein kinase A which decreases the activation of the L-type calcium channels and the calcium inflow will decrease. So this negative factors of the parasympathetic stimulation will form a decrease in the calcium extracellularly and an increase in sodium and potassium extracellularly and the hydrogen intracellularly will all increase. So this was the myocardial contractility or inotropism. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon again in the next video.